So, how did you like the exhibit? I swear to God. Those young artists, they're out to murder me. That's kind of extreme. But not inaccurate. You think Jasper Johns is trying to murder you? Yes. What about Frank Stella? Yes. Robert Rauschenberg? Yes. Roy Lichtenstein? Which one is he? Comic books. Yes. Andy Warhol? Mm -hmm. You sound like an old man. I am an old man. Not that old. Today, I'm old. You say so. You know, the thing is, people like me, my contemporaries, my colleagues, those painters who came up with me, we had one thing in common. We always understood the importance of seriousness. You're too much. What? You heard me. What did you say to me? Who are you to assume they're not serious? Look at their work. I have. Not like you usually look at things like an overeager undergraduate. I have. And what do you see? Never mind. No, you look at their work. Tell me what you see. This moment, right now. And all those flags and comic books and suit cans. This moment, right now, and a little bit tomorrow. And you think that's a good thing? It's neither good nor bad, but it's what people want. That's exactly my point. So art shouldn't be popular at all now? It shouldn't only be popular. You may not like it, but nowadays as many people are genuinely moved by Frank Stella as by Mark Rothko. That's nonsense. I don't think so. You know what's wrong with those artists? It's exactly what you said. They are painting for now. For now, that's it. It's completely temporal, completely disposable, like Kleenex, like Campbell soups, like comic books. Do you really believe Andy Warhol will be hanging in museums in a hundred years alongside Bruegels and the Vermeers? He's hanging alongside Rothko now. That's because those goddamn gallery owners will do anything for money, cater to any wicked taste. That's business, young man, not art. You ever get tired of telling people what art is? No, not until they learn. Better you should tell me. No. Fuck off. You're just mad because the barbarians are at the gate. And what do you know, people seem to like the barbarians. That's exactly my point. I mean, what do people like? They like bright, happy colors. They want things to be pretty. They want things to be beautiful. Jesus Christ. When someone tells me my painting is beautiful, I want to vomit. What's wrong with Pretty, really beautiful, nice, fine. That's our life now, isn't it? Everything's fine. We put on the funny nose and the glasses and slip on the banana peel, and the television makes everything funny, and everything. everyone's laughing all the time. It's our constitutional right to be amused all the time, isn't it? We are a smirking nation living in the tyranny of fine. How are you? Fine. How was your day? Fine. How are you feeling? Fine. How would you like a picture? Fine. You want some dinner? Fine. Well, let me tell you, everything is not fun. How are you? How are you feeling? How was your day? Troubled. Conflicted. Nuanced. Diseased. I'm not fine. We're not fine. We are anything but fine. Look at that picture. You see the dark rectangle? It's an aperture. A doorway, yes, but it's also a gaping mouth letting out a silent howl of something feral and foul and primal and real. Not nice, not pretty, not fine, real. A moan of rapture, something divine or doomed, something immortal, not comic books or soup cans, something beyond me and beyond now, and whatever it is, it's not pretty, and it's not fine. I am here to stop your heart, do you understand that? I am here to make you think. I am not here to make pretty pictures. Yeah.